Hey guys, welcome to my channel. It is Christina. So today I am creating a look for you guys. I am giving you my flag for the LGBTQIA+. Since this is the month of, or this is Pride Month, I decided to create an inspired look based on my flag. Before we jump into the video, I do want to briefly take a moment to talk to you guys about what's been going on. If you follow the news and you follow media, you should know what's going on and that is that our black community really needs our help. They are constantly having to fight for their lives because of either police brutality or having to deal with racism, colorism, and or social profiling and it's disgusting and enough is enough. I just really wanted to hop on and make sure I voice my opinion and gave you guys some information down below for you guys to go and sign petitions to donate if you can and overall let's educate ourselves to be the best allies we can be for our black community and I am here to say that I stand with my black community and not just because I have friends who are people of color but because I have family. It breaks my heart to even think that people are so disgusting <laughs> to a community of people because of the color of their skin and it's I know being Hispanic, being Mexican, we have our own set of racism, but it's disgusting when it comes down to the fact that they are being murdered by people who took an oath to protect us and it's not right. So that's all I'm going to say for right now. But I will say Black Lives Matter, and I stand with you, and I stand for you, and beside you, and I just want all of my black community, whether you're my subscriber or you're just stopping by to check this video out, I love you, and I am here for you. With that being said, it makes me, it pushes me more to educate myself because as ashamed as I am to say this, I am not fully educated on exactly what they have to deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. I have heard stories, but it's never pushed me to the point to really educate myself. And I blame the school systems as well because I feel like the school system only gives you a tiny, tiny bit of a glimpse in their world and their world and it's not enough it's really not enough so that is my biggest goal from here on out is to educate myself and not only myself but my children so that way we can continue to be the best allies we can for this community and for one another because together we are strong and no peace until we are all equal. So thank you guys for watching. I just wanted to dive in a little deep and kind of give you that. I will leave some links down below. So definitely check out my description. If you do check it out and there's nothing down there, give me some time. I am fairly new still to putting stuff down there. But there's going to be stuff down there so you guys can go and sign petitions if you are not able to donate. So yeah, um, I would just like to also mention that if... I say anything wrong please be kind you know I am being as honest as I possibly can I don't want to offend anybody I just want people to know that especially I want my black I want the black community to know that we stand with you we do me and my family and we're all in this together so I love you. Thank you guys for watching. And if you are ready to see this look that I created, then let's go ahead and jump to the video. Alright, now that I got my brows done and I've already set my eyes with the white cream, um, 
eyeshadow base by NYX. You guys know I use this. Especially whenever I am working with bright colors. That's why I look crazy. But it's okay. So the two palettes we're going to be testing out today is the Trending in Tokyo by BH Cosmetics. And this is oh, what it looks like. Very colorful. And then we will be playing in Dia and no Noche by J-Cat. I don't know if I'm saying the name right, but this is what it looks like. It's another colorful palette. I get that they look somewhat similar, but in real life, they got some differences. Um, so yeah, I wanted to get them both because this one was only like five, six dollars at Ulta and then... BH Cosmetics was having a sale at Ulta so I picked this one up as well. So we are going to be using these two palettes to create a, a pride look and you will see what I come up with by the end of the video. So we're going to go ahead and jump right in. I think what I'm going to do is start off with the blues. So I am probably going to dip into this blue first right here in the BH Cosmetics. Palette. This is the shade Fortune. And we're going to place this color all in the crease area. Alright, so now that we're here, I know it looks a bit harsh, but it's okay. We'll blend this out as we get closer to the end. So, like I always say, just trust the process. It'll come all together in the end. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and jump into the J-Cat palette. And I'm going to use a deeper blue because I do want to deepen up the blue a little bit. And I'm going to use this blue right here. This is in the shade High Risk. And I'm just going to place this all in the crease area as well. So now that we got that laid down, I wish there was some type of white um, shadow in here because... I love using white to blend out harsh edges, especially whenever I'm using color, but because there is no white, I'm just going to use a clean blending brush and I'm just going to go over top and just really blend everything out just to make sure everything is nice and blended. So this is where we're at right now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to jump into purple and I am stuck between using the purple and the BH Cosmetics, which is this one right here. This is Kyoto. Oh, I'm saying that right. I don't know. Or this purple right here. This one's a bit more neonish, I guess you can say. And this is the shade Ma Main Squeeze. I was going to say Man Squeeze. Main Squeeze. So I think I'm going to gravitate towards the J Cat one. I feel like this is more of what I'm looking for in a purple for this particular look. So I'm going to use this one. Main squeeze. And I'm going to just place this in the crease area as well. But I'm going to keep it more lower. I'm trying to keep it like below the blue if that makes any sense. So I'm going to bring the blue a little bit more higher up close to my brow bone. Um, I think I'm going to go in to this fortune, this little, this teal blue, the first color that I used for my crease area. I think I'm going to go in there and kind of blend it between the purple and the darker blue just to kind of soften up the line. It literally feels like it's not blended out well. It feels like you definitely can tell that it's not gradiated. That's even a word. It's not ombre in to the colors properly. I feel like you definitely know that it's one color and then another. And I just want them to blend in. And then going in with that brush that has no product on it and I'm going to just use that to kind of blend the top harsh edge because it's looking a bit crazy but 
trust the process. We are hoping for good turnout. All right, this is where we're at, and I'm gonna leave it alone for right now. I'm not gonna blend anything further until towards the very end, so you definitely can see the purple and the blue, and that's where I want it. So now we are gonna put the pink on the lid, and I do have a pink here in the BH Cosmetic palette, which is this pink right here. This is the shade Anime, and it's a shimmery pink. That's really what I'm looking for. And then I have a shimmery pink in the J Cat palette right here. And this one is Golden Hour, which doesn't make sense. I don't think that's the right. That can't be right. I actually really like the one at the J Cat. These are. This is J Cat. This is BH. I think I want to do more in a lighter or a darker pink like this because the look is already dark and why not keep it dark, right? Okay, change in plans. I'm going to actually go in with this pink right here. It's a matte pink in the J Cat palette and this one is the shade Psyched Up. And then I will top it off with the shimmery one in BH. This one right here, it looks more darker on camera, but it's really not that dark. And that is anime. I'm going to go ahead and use a flat brush to pack this on. I was thinking about recutting my crease or adding more of the white base down, but I don't think I want to do that because it's going to just really make it more messy. So I'm just going to see how it'll do on its own without that base. So this is where we're at. It looks very just pink and blue. I feel like you cannot see the purple at all. I feel like it's literally like a purple blue now and it just looks like pink and blue. So that's kind of upsetting. Or I don't know, maybe it's just because of the lights. But I think what I'm going to do is try to fix the purple on this eye and then fix it on this eye off camera. So I will show you guys how I'm going to fix it with this eye. I'm going to dip back into the purple in the J-Cat palette, and that is the shade P and R, which is this one right here. And I'm just going to go back over it. That looks a little better so definitely looks very harsh now on this side so i will clean it up later just <laughs> i'm gonna leave it as is right now so it does look a little better you can definitely see the purple more in there but i overdid it again and it's overpowering the blue so i need to clean it up just on the top so that way you definitely can see all three colors so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and pack on the pink on this side and i haven't done any uh I haven't packed on the other pink from the BH Cosmetics yet, so I'm just still using the one from the J-Cap palette. And I'm just patting it on first. Okay, so here are we. This is where we're at right now. Before I um, add any the other pink over this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean up the blue. And I'm going to use this um, brush, the one that I used for the dark blue in the J-Cap palette. For the one that's called top of the world this one I'm not dipping back into it I'm just gonna use whatever product is left over on top of it or on it and I'm gonna just use this to blend out the harsh edges so now going in with that same um, brush I used for the pink I'm gonna go into the BH cosmetics in the shade anime and I'm gonna place this over top that just to add some shimmer You really can't see much of the shimmer, but it's there. <laughs> okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to add some liner on to the eyes. And we are going to be using the NYX. This is the NYX White Liquid Liner. I love this stuff. 
I haven't purchased it in a while and I don't know why I just I have it and I'm glad I finally did because I've been really needing this liner for a long time already <laughs> so we are gonna do a wing liner So this is how it looks right now. I feel like I might regret the fact that I did the pink liner, but since I had already did it on one eye, I just felt like I needed to follow through with the look. So. There, I feel like that looks a little better. I did go over the pink that I laid down all over my lid. I ended up using the purple that I put in my crease area. The one from the J-Cat. And that is the shade P and R. I went ahead and used that purple right here to just place all over my lid. And I feel like it's looking a little better. At least now I know that I got the pink on my liner i'm gonna go ahead and smudge the pink on the bottom whenever i get to that point so that way i can have pink purple and blue that's what i wanted in the first place so now it's looking a whole lot more better since i fixed it what i'm gonna do is i'm going to pop on some falsies and do my foundation and i will be right back with the final look Alright you guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you liked this video. I tried to do the bisexual flag for the LGBTQ+, but you know, some people got different references. <laughs> I just really wanted to show you guys my version of my flag. Yes, I said my flag. I recently came out on Twitter and I've not openly discussed my sexuality um with anybody other than like my close 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 friends and my family who i trust with my personal um so yeah i recently came out a few days ago on twitter and that is the only platform that i've come out on that i am bisexual um i am married I have a husband and I have four kids uh, and I do want to talk about my experience and my story on another video but not this one. I just really wanted to kind of give you guys a, a little look of my flag. It's kind of weird saying that and I kind of feel, or I don't kind of feel, I feel a little bit more open a little bit more free um to finally say it out loud and i feel a little bit nervous to even say it on camera because i know no matter how much i know that there are going to be people out there that are going to judge me for who i am I know I have a big support group and I know I don't have to prove anything to anybody. I don't need to please anybody but the people I have in my corner already including my husband who has been nothing but supportive and he has never really understood where I came from with my sexuality and for him to tell me that he never wanted to make me feel like I had to be stuck in the closet makes me feel even more free but like I said that is another story for another video I just wanted to show my pride for this month and from here on out like and not to be ashamed or embarrassed or 
to keep it a secret because I know there are other people out there like me and I applaud you for being so brave for being so open you guys are super inspiring and it's just it's amazing to finally just be able to breathe and not be ashamed but I want to save that story I want to save my story for another video I just really wanted to give you guys the inspired look of my flag uh, so yeah thank you guys for watching as always if you did like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and I shall see you on my next one bye